This is an Ionic application running in the iOS simulator. And this is a native iOS list being displayed on top of that application. So this list is just a standard native list that you would build with iOS and Swift. But through the use of a capacitor plugin, we're quite easily able to get it running on top of our Ionic application. So for some more information on when this approach might be useful and exactly how to go about building this, uh, I'll link to a blog post that talks through all of that stuff. But in this video, I just want to give you a quick overview of how this works. So the key thing here that allows us to use a native iOS list is the fact that it is running on top of our application. So it's sitting on top of the web view, not inside of it. Typically we would use the ion list component, uh, component which can sit inside of our application and we could have uh, headers and toolbars and stuff around that. Uh, but with a native list, we can't really do that. Uh, technically it might be possible to integrate it with what's going on with the rest of your application. But the only real uh, clean way we can do this is by launching it on top of our application like this. So to get this to work, all we have to do with our capacitor plugin is call uh, listview.present. So I've created a plugin called listview. Uh, this is a capacitor plugin. And then all I need to do is at some point in my application call listview.present and then supply it with the array of items that I want to display in that native list. So again, I would recommend reading that blog post to get the full details on how to implement this plugin. But Let's just take a quick look at the code that is happening here. So this is the Swift code uh, that is running this native list for iOS. So this is basically all of our plugin code and this is all that is required to do it. So what we have down here is an additional class called table view controller, and that's going to launch our UI table view for us. And all that you see highlighted here, uh, this is all just standard iOS Swift code uh, this is what you would do if you're just building a standard native application. This is the kind of code you would run to launch a, a list. So there's nothing special happening in terms of capacitor here. And then for the implementation of our capacitor plugin, which is basically just this little chunk here, we create this single method called present. We grab in the items that we passed through the call. So whatever we passed in through this present method here, we're going to be able to grab those items like this. We create a new list view, which is going to be an instance of our table view controller down here. We set the items for that UI table view to whatever was passed in. And then we just call the view controller on uh, through capacitors bridge, which is essentially the part of capacitor that handles communication between the web view and the rest of the native application. And then we just present our list view. And that is all that is required to get this native list launched inside of an Ionic application. So the circumstances in which you would use this probably are limited. And again, I go into more detail in the blog post. Uh, I created this partly just for the sake of demonstrating the technology of how we go about launching native views and doing various native things. But I think there is a few specific use cases for this style of native list in an Ionic application, uh, given that displaying large lists of information can be very difficult in a web-based application due to the DOM. A DOM that has a lot of elements in it can cause performance problems. There are ways that we can deal with that in an Ionic application using just a standard Ion list, but there may be a few specialized circumstances where being able to just launch a massive list of data in a native list view is going to be beneficial. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, do feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Remember to check out that blog post because it contains a lot more detail about how to create this. And I will see you in the next video.